Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. I want to ask a question, and that is, are the Gospel accounts and the New Testament accounts about the life of Jesus, are they based on eyewitness accounts? I want to just read some text of the Bible and then ask a question. In 2 Peter chapter 1, 6 it says, For we do not follow cunningly devised fables when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. 2 Peter 1, 16. 1 John 1, 1, 3 That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled concerning the word of life, the life was manifested, and we have seen and bear witness and declare to you that eternal life which was with the Father, and was manifest to us. That which we have seen and heard, we declare to you that you also may have fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father, and with his Son, Jesus Christ, 1 John chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. Inasmuch as many have taken in hand to set in order a narrative of those things which have been fulfilled among us, just as those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word delivered them to us, it seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write to you an orderly account, most excellent Theophilus, Luke chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. Then it says in Acts chapter 1 verse 1 and 3, The former account I made of Theophilus of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up, after he through the Holy Spirit had given commandments to the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom also he presented himself alive, after his sufferings by many and fallible proofs, being seen by them during forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to to the to the kingdom of God, Acts chapter one verse one and three, and then we'll read uh, a gospel account, uh, John chapter twenty verse thirty to thirty one. And truly, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. John chapter twenty verse thirty to thirty one. Now, these gospel writers and various writers in the New Testament are telling us that they are eyewitness accounts of the life of Jesus, or based on eyewitness account. Now, how do we know this? Well, we've studied recently, uh, Dr. Balcom and many other scholars have studied recently uh, Roman history and Greek history. And they found out that Roman historians and Greek historians preferred a, a good history uh, they they regarded good history as based on eyewitness accounts now guess what the gospel writers when they were writing and the New Testament they also saw history as based on eyewitness accounts in the grand Roman and Greek tradition of writing history so in other words when we look at the ancient New Testament documents and we compare them with the documents of Rome and Greece uh, when they thought what best history was based on eyewitness accounts it is indeed is what the New Testament wants to to do is write good history based on eyewitness accounts so the work of Dr. Balcom uh, has been seminal and uh, has revolutionized our understanding of the New Testament and has completely overturned a lot of the skepticism that's been around recently over the last 30 years so the skeptics scholars and the skeptics on YouTube have not caught up with this kind of scholarship and they're very poor at it and you need to realize this and you need to be much more open-minded to the evidence of the eyewitness accounts of the Gospels thank you for listening please let me know what you think about this subject and I will direct you to some material uh, underneath this video take care now God bless